Good afternoon. It's Saturday, May 7th, 2022, and I'm back with another Twin Flame reading. I'm Brittany. I'm a psychic and a healer. I also happen to be a Syrian and an Andromedan star seed, plus a Taurus sun, a Virgo rising, and an Aquarius moon. So, yeah, let's jump to the reading, shall we? But before we do, um, remember I use she for divine feminine and he for divine masculine. If those are not your preferred pronouns, then insert your preferred pronouns. So let's see what's going on with Divine Feminine. So the deck could be using for Divine Feminine is the Moonology Oracle cards by Yasin Bolin. The artwork is by Nick Rowan. So let's see what's going on for Divine Feminine, shall we? So the first card out for Divine Feminine is the Full Moon Eclipse. So conclusions are within reach. So yeah, we're smack middle and we're smack in the middle of eclipse season. So I feel like yeah, Mercury retrograde is about to begin and we haven't already begun. So I feel like Divine Feminine feels very discombobulated right now. She feels as though there is no conclusion and that she's rehashing the same story again and again. She says, I've done so much healing work. So why am I going through this um, this cycle? Um, it's not exactly a cycle um, restarting and you know replaying Divine Feminine. You got it all wrong. You're reaching the end of a cycle. You just don't see it yet. And you're about to evolve. You're about to go to the next level. So no, you're not exactly regressing. You're not stagnating. You're just overthinking this Divine Feminine. I feel as though maybe you need to ground a little bit more. I do feel as though you're... Um, arrested with um crippling thoughts of anxiety um could also be depression so i feel like divine feminine could be going through a slight dark night of the soul or an existential crisis and i also see that she's purging some very dark energy and this dark energy i feel as though it's ancestral so i feel like again she's also doing some clearing in relation to the mother wound and i also see that divine feminine yeah she's embodying her divine feminine essence a lot more so i feel like divine feminine is also taking care of the distorted masculine template in her family line. So she's already embodied the her own personal divine masculine template, but I feel like, again, in order to make it more complete, divine feminine is also um, doing some spring, must need spring, spring clear, cleaning and ancestrally. So yeah, the next card is full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. I feel like divine feminine has been quite spiritual um like overly spiritual i feel like there's like some sort of imbalance and now divine feminine is being told to strike this balance i feel like she's having a hard time because again she put her eggs in one basket she feels as though this is the way to growth this is the way for her to go and i do feel as though divine feminine yeah i feel like that maybe um yeah it was the right t moment in that time so yes you're right but i feel like now you're again you're just being called to upgrade and you're struggling because again um you have no idea of what tools to use you don't need to know which two tools to use just use the divine feminine learn as you go yeah remember just be in the moment be present and this is where grounding comes in centering and i also see that um divine feminine is also a fertile time so i feel like you might be actually giving birth to a new aspect of yourself you're embodying your higher self divine feminine so i think again you're going to actually um, multiplying your abundance because you're doing what you're meant to be doing, Divine Feminine. And I also see that, um, what else do I see? I see a lot. So I feel as it's still Divine Feminine. Um, the 5-5 five, five portal is actually giving you, I feel like that maybe it's actually giving you some clarity. I feel like that maybe you were lost for a while, you were asking for answers, and now those answers have been um, given to you. But you're not exactly sure how to accomplish this. But Divine Feminine, you don't need to know everything. Just you just take it easy chill i know that is hard but uh, you have your soul family and i feel like some of you might be actually manifesting more soul family so i feel again there's a plethora of ideas that you have divine feminine but you just you just need to trust yourself and the next card is the full moon and cancel personal issue reaches resolution so i feel like divine feminine you're making peace with the situation in this situation you don't exactly have a conclusion you don't exactly have you can't exactly um 
could be your twin. It doesn't have to be. I feel like that maybe there's just not a conclusion you can reach at this time, and you just have to let it go. Maybe you don't like to leave things half finished, but it's not exactly leaving things half finished. Divine feminine. I think right now you can't exactly. You have to put, pick up the slack. I feel like that. Yeah, your twin isn't exactly doing the work. They're um still in a karma situation, so that means that you just have to um improvise at the moment. So I feel as though, yeah, divine feminine. I think that you also have to remember that time is an illusion, so you're always going to be together with your twin regardless. Don't exactly put a time on it. Just know that it's going to happen when you least suspect it, and in the most perfect and divine way it's possible. And I also see, Divine Feminine, that you're also clearing your growth chakra. So I feel as though you could be feeling, like, unable to express yourself. And that's because, um, yeah, you're going through a throat chakra cleansing. I feel as though you're not expressing yourself because you haven't exactly expressed yourself for the um for the longest while. So I do feel as though yeah, that crippling sensation of that helplessness, that's that's just your um repressed emotions, divine feminine. So just go with the flow, feel it. And I feel as though you could be feeling quite blue right now. No, that's that that's the eclipse energies. And the next card is um, Full Moon and Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. So I feel like Divine Feminine, this is in reverse. So yeah, pride is not, yeah, pride is not holding you back anymore. You're like saying, I have my dignity and that's enough. So yeah, Divine Feminine, that's enough. Just be you. You don't exactly have to have the most perfect plan. And you don't exactly have to be the most intelligent person in the room. Um, the most creative, um, the prettiest. You're just you. You're unique, uniquely beautiful as you are, Divine Feminine. You don't exactly have to be someone um, that maybe you're aspiring to be very, uh, like some sort of um, archetype. Don't do not do that, Divine Feminine. Just be you. Just be you. Um, again, just don't panic. Just take it slow. Just take it um, day by day. Know that um, your soul family is there if you need um, help. And yeah. And I also see that, yeah, you're also working on your self-confidence and you're doing wonderfully. I feel as though maybe you need to compliment yourself a lot more, Divine Feminine. You're so focused on tearing yourself down. But look at what you've done right. Um, yeah, sure, growth, the growth may, may not be as conspicuous as you like, but there's growth nonetheless. So celebrate your victories. They might seem small to you, but they are huge in the eyes of the Divine. And uh, second to last card, believe in the impossible. So yeah, divine feminine. Yeah, exactly. This is why you don't need. You just have to stop overthinking. You have to realize that you have to make room for um, this next chapter. So yeah, just let go of all control, um, surrender, and just be in flow state. That's all you have to do. And honestly, I know your messages messages are a little bit short, but I just feel like again. There's a lot, there's just, this is the main bulk of the clearing you gotta do. This is the main, you have to clear this part, Divine Feminine. And I think, again, you're just, you might feel like you're going on a detour, but you're not exactly going to your detour. You're almost to the finish line of your um, upgrade. So yeah, relish it. And the last part is you're good enough, Full Moon and Virgo. So you have Divine Feminine. Stop, um, stop saying that you're not pretty, you're not, um, smart you're not creative you're not um athletic you're not good enough you are you are just again just deal with those um that mother wound of yours and everything will be fine so yeah that is it for divine feminine so let's see what's going on with for divine masculine so let's see what kind of pep talk do i have to do so yeah the deck you be using for divine masculine is the shadowscape tarot by stephanie queen win law So the first card out for Divine Masculine will be Knight of Pentacles. So Divine Masculine is worried about his finances. I feel as though he has a plan, but he doesn't know exactly know how to implement it. But the Divine is like saying, that is not the plan you need to go down. You don't need to go down that road, Divine Masculine. You just have to trust in the Divine. So I feel like Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine is trying to control the um, 
this next um, chapter. But no, I feel like again, divine, divine masculine just needs to trust in a voice of his heart. And his heart is just telling him to let go and trust. And he's like, so how do I know that that's my intuition? Because I feel like divine masculine is all but disconnected with his intuition. He doesn't exactly um, understand why he feels he just why he's not exactly going with this lo logic anymore. I feel that even if he's trying to uh, be more logical, divine masculine is becoming more spiritual. So I feel like again, he's learning how to, um, yeah, he's adjusting. He's um, he's adapting to these um, unprecedented changes and they scare him, these unprecedented changes. And I feel as if divine masculine is abundance is um, multiplying. I mean, I feel like again, divine masculine is sort of on the right path, it sort of isn't, but I feel like again, he's on a detour, but he's going to come back to the right path eventually. So I just feel like again, he's just a little bit lost because I think he's married to divine feminine. He doesn't exactly know where his next, um, where he's needed right now. And I feel like he thinks he's needed in his family dynamic or maybe like in his karma situation, but I think divine masculine just lost some um, touch with himself. And I feel like he's reconnecting with himself anyhow. And the next card is judgment. So I feel like there's a divine judgment going on in the divine masculine's life. I feel like divine masculine is um, disinterested in continuing his current charade. Char charade. Charade. And this charade is very much him not caring about the divine feminine. And I feel like he sucks divine feminine a lot. He could be also go he could be going on Facebook a lot. Um, it could be also be Instagram, Twitter. But I feel like, again, he's very engrossed in what the Divine Feminine is doing. I feel like he is very worried about Divine Feminine at the moment. Because you see when Divine Feminine is going through some uncertainty. And that's what makes him even more anxious, ironically. You're like, see, he doesn't even care. Um, why is he even worrying about you? You mean the world to him. But I think, again, Divine Master is also going through a judgment because he's been very complicit in many of his aspects of his life. So I feel like he's been caused to grow in this chaos. And rather than, you know stagnate in comfort so i feel like again divine masculine's being shaken to being shaken by the divine saying you can't exactly be in this situation anymore you have to reconsider um your options and divine masculine's like i don't want to reconsider these options it's just too much so i feel like divine masculine's again burying his head in the sand but i feel like art the archangels are telling them you can trust this new beginning the only reason you don't trust is because you don't trust anything that is not brought about by your own hand and Divine Masculine's like being called out right now and I think that's why his ego is so inflamed at the moment because he doesn't exactly know who to trust and I know that he might I feel like again he's his psychic powers are flourishing they're growing so I feel like he's becoming more connected with his spiritual self but I think he likes likes it when it suits him when it's convenient not when it's like if he's called to walk to talk to divine masculine pulls away so he's great at giving other people advice but when it comes to following his own advice forget it and i also see throat chakra activations going on for divine masculine so i feel like he's being called to be more authentic anyhow and the next card is the lovers so i do see that divine masculine is admiring divine feminine he thinks that divine feminine is doing very nicely for herself she's very abundant she had she he sees her as the empress he sees her as the one for him, but he doesn't exactly know how to move toward her. He doesn't think that her love is genuine. He thinks that it's all show, and that when he approaches her, she'll be lashed out. He thinks that he's, she's very disappointed in him, and maybe she was, but she's not anymore. It's just divine feminine is more um, occupied, and I think that's panic. he's panicking because he feels divine feminine disconnecting. He doesn't exactly know why, but he's being pushed to go toward divine feminine. I feel like he's reminiscing about her right now, He's thinking about the good old days when they were together and when it was us against them against the world. So I feel like in Divine Masculine misses that because he feels ultimately alone in the situation with the karmic and in other aspects of his life. He feels as though everybody's against him and he needs that unity he had with the Divine Feminine. And I also see that he's also being called to make a choice into the karmic and the Divine Feminine. And he thought he made the right choice, but I feel like the Divine is like, try again. So I feel like, again, this is their test. For the divine masculine to be the authentic self can they do it so the next card is the five of pentacles so i feel like divine masculine is being called to let go of situations that no longer serves him so i feel like maybe divine masculine is trying to find a quicker way of making money but i don't exactly think that the divine approves of that 
So I feel like Divine Master is no longer cutting corners. He's being told to walk the honest route, the true route. And I feel like Divine Master has been in a um, energy where he is very, like, you know, hasn't exactly been um, frank. He hasn't exactly been authentic. He's been shady. He's been deceptive, duplicitous. Take your pick. And I also see that Divine Masculine, I feel like he's in a poverty consciousness right, right now. I feel like this poverty consciousness is because he feels a sense of emptiness. He doesn't exactly feel fulfilled in his life. He seems like he's happy because he's posing right now. He's pretending like he is happy, but he isn't. And I feel like this is pretty much reflecting. So his inner reality is reflecting in his outer reality. And I think a lot of people are thinking, what's going wrong? Because I feel like Divine Masculine is distracted right now. He's thinking about the future, but not he's he's thinking about it in fear because he sees that um, whatever he has the karmic is not going to last. And I feel like he's trying to push the karmic away, but the karmic is saying, "Let's do this together." But the divine master doesn't exactly know how to articulate to the karmic that he doesn't want to drag down the karmic with them. And I feel like he's trying to care about the karmic, but I also feel as though he's very impatient with the karmic as well. So I do see, yeah, divine master is struggling to set boundaries at the moment because I feel like Divine Master needs to go within and figure out what the hell he needs to do with his life because this, this is on it. And the third to last card would be Three of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a separation happening between the Divine Master and the Karmic. I feel like again this separation might not exactly be physical but there's a degree of separation happening nonetheless. So there could be emotional um, separation. Um, yeah, it could be physical for a few of you, but I feel like, again, there's a layer of um, separation that's happening. Because, again, I feel like the karmic is becoming more and more distant from the divine masculine. And he sense it. And that's why they're being, I feel like some of them might turn to spell work. They don't have to. I feel like that maybe they might try to remedy the situation. But, again, it's done. I feel like, again, both parties have to move on and just find their way. And I feel like that both of them are refusing to um, do the right game and walking away from his connect connection because again both of them are required to um be independent but both divine masculine and the karmic don't want to be because again they're they bit need eat both parties are bad for each other so i also see that um the guides are like saying this is enough enough is enough when you're going to realize that um you're not going to be happy faking it into you make it doesn't exactly um bode well and Divine Master is like saying, I have this under control, I will. So I feel like Divine Master is very stuck in his head. He's overthinking. I feel like he too needs a ground, but again, he's not spiritual, so he can't exactly do that. So I feel like Divine Master is also being um, called to, um, you know, separate from people who mean to do him harm. And I feel like Divine Master is also seeing the true colors about... Um, friends that he once associated it with so I feel like Divine Master is distinct himself from these people because he's like saying you know what I just want to do me I don't want to be in a situation where I'm not can't exactly be myself anymore and Divine Master says when exactly did I care about that so I feel like Divine Master is yeah reconnecting with himself he might not see it as that and the next part is the seven of pentacles so I feel as though Divine Masculine I do see that once he separates himself from his people, then I feel like his abundance will go up against. Because he's doing well, but I feel like he could do better. And I feel like he's not exact. He's being complacent. He's lax. And he's wondering, um, what exactly can I do? There's nothing more he can do in this situation. He has to walk away. He can't exactly be in this situation anymore. It's not serving him. And it's going to be detrimental to his health. I feel like the maybe divine master might get sick really sick and that's because of the karmic um i feel like also he could be stressed out right now also very um depressed yeah dark down his soul definitely and i feel like divine masculine is also yeah divine masculine ha may be um, neglecting his health as well so i feel like he's spreading himself way too thin and i feel like he needs to just focus on himself he's too busy catering to other people's needs that he's forgetting that he too needs to be looked after and the last card is the five of wands so i feel like there's going to be a chaos an eminent chaos um there is an eminent chaos so i feel like there's going to be some sort of struggle that's going to break out in divine masculine's life 
it could be an argument between him and the karmic, but I feel like it's mostly a mess of upheaval brought about by the divine, and the divine master is going to see that he can't exactly bury his head in the sand anymore. He has to make things, um, he has to make a new path for himself. This is not the path for him. And I'm seeing solar plexus activations going on, so I feel like divine masculine is going to be reconnected to his integrity pretty soon. He hasn't exactly been acting authentic, and he's going to see that he can't, he can't ignore his true self anymore. He has to be himself, and he has to say goodbye to a lot of people and things that no longer serve him. So I feel like he's trying to do... Um, he could be doing weed. He could be um, smoking. Um, I'm seeing a lot of chain smoking going on. I'm also seeing that there is a... Um, a lot of, yeah, I feel like that maybe he could be drinking as well. Um, could be hardcore drugs. But I feel like the Divine Master is doing everything he can to avoid um, taking responsibility. But it's not going to work. Because again, the Divine is like saying, it's time for you to step up. So yeah, that is it for both counterparts. I hope you enjoyed that reading. And I will see you another time. Namaste.